What if you were told to assume the position and that position meant you face the wall in the corner. You put your arms high in the air, put them on the wall. And they make you stick your behind out, your butt, your booty. And they make you do the classic. Everybody knows this dance. White or black, Spanish, whoever. The classic Beyonce, uh-oh, booty dance. When she was like, uh-oh, 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 oh, no, no. She feel like the way do. do sitting with the crew. I bet get some food. I see you looking like you do. Had to make a move, make a move. Sell a got a glow. And a Jimmy Joe's break the rules. No, you're not a fool, but I'm in the mood. Let's give a specific video about the Beyonce booty dance, okay? I've spoke on it two or three times, never done a specific video about it, and let's speak on it right now, man. Shout out to the new subscribers, shout out to the OG subscribers, man. Y'all family, I love y'all, man. I do this shit for y'all. But without further ado, here we go, man. Now, I'm going to ask you as a man or if you're a woman watching this. How would you feel if you were in jail and you just want to do your time? Either you're in the gang or you're not. But you just want to do your time, you know? And then you got a group of men that come to you. They tell you, hey, listen. Are you going to follow the program? Are you with it or are you not? And you like, yo, what does it mean to be with it? And they're like, yo, listen. You come, you sit all the way in the back. I don't care if your butt cheek is falling off the edge of that seat because there's too many people sitting there. You are never allowed to stand up. If anything, you take your food, you sit your ass down on the floor and eat. Right? They also say, You better have some money in your account because when it's time for me to use the phone, I'm going to use your one 15-minute call and six-minute call that you're allowed to get every day. I'm going to use it. What if they say, hey, listen, since you agree to be with it, when comments every day come on Wednesday, I'm going to slide this little list under your door. I want five toppings. 20 soups, right? Six honey buns. 10 beef sticks. That's Slim Jims, right? Or we're going to spank you. We're going to kill you in here, right? And let's say you don't want the drama, right? So you agree to do all these things. Give up your phone calls. Give up your commissary. Sit in the back, Right? Sit on the iron horse, which they call the dick, by the way. They be like, yo, go sit on the dick, right? Let's say you agree to all of those terms, right? But this is Rikers Island, C-74, right? That ain't even enough. Because you still haven't been through the most disrespectful, emasculating thing possible. And that's the uh-oh booty dance. Now. Picture you sitting down in the back or you even sitting on the floor because it ain't no room for you in the back. And they tell you, hey, listen. Why you ain't tell me your account ran out of money? You owe money, man. You got to take violation. Assume the position. Now, what if you were told to assume the position and that position meant you face the wall in the corner. You put your arms high in the air, put them on the wall. And they make you stick your behind out, your butt, your booty. And they make you do the classic. Everybody knows this dance. White or black, Spanish, whoever. The classic Beyonce, uh-oh, booty dance. When she was like, uh-oh, 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 oh, no, no. Uh-oh, 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 oh, no, no, right? And they make you do that dance. And if you refuse, they say you're going to get a worse spanking. We're going to smoke you for real. 
three, four, five of us, instead of this one or two people, right? They tell you to do the dance, and while you're doing the dance, right? They tell you, keep your arms up, don't guard your face, don't guard your ribs. And they could be punching you in back of your head, slapping you in your face, punching you in your back, kicking you in your back, kicking you in your behind, punching you in your ribs. And I'm talking about open rib shots, not going soft on you. They don't respect you. You a day room dummy, right? Picture having to go through that and you 16 years old, 17 years old. 18 years old, huh? And some big dude that been doing push-ups for two years that's locked up for a murder ain't got nothing to live for. How would you as a man deal with that? That's the question. How would you as a man deal with that? This is the Beyonce booty dance. The most emasculated, most disrespectful thing in the world, man. And I've seen at least 20 men have to do this. Both in the crib, inside um, Rikers Island, and at court, okay? We talking about the most humiliating thing that you can make a man do. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is literally a step under rape. A step under being in jail and a man that want to do some sexual things to you, come and grab your junk. This is exactly what we're dealing with. This is exactly what young men had to go through, okay? Uh, very much gay. Very much buck breaking. Buck breaking of the highest level. Oppression at the highest level. Demonstrating self-hate at the highest level, okay? And my question is to the people watching this, what would you do? What would you do, okay, if you're neutral and a known gang member comes to you and asks you this? Not even asks because he's telling you to do it. What would you do? How would you handle that? Like, we talking about, let me turn around. We talking about Rikers Island, man. Gladiator school. The gritty of the gritty, man. Mental gymnastics. Jedi mind tricks. You know what I mean? I personally never made a guy do that, you know? That was something that was reserved for the most oppressive men to do. Have other men do, I mean, you know, um, and it's real messed up, you know. I've I've seen dudes, I've seen dudes do the Beyonce booty dance, get humiliated, and while they doing the dance, while they getting punched in their ribs, they crying. They crying. I've seen I've seen dudes refuse. I've seen dudes begin to do it, stop in the middle of doing it, and immediately get jumped by two, three, four, five dudes. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just a sad situation. It's a sad situation. And, and I remember being there watching these things happen to these people. And at some point, I had to sit to myself and think, like, wow. <laughs> this is what the slave master did to the slaves and look at how the slave master ain't even got to be as overt now because he got us doing it to each other and you know the COs knew this was going on had the CO seen it happen or was told about it and they just laughed at the fact that a man would allow another man to make them do that you know they don't help and these same people look like you and me. They don't help, they don't help at all, you know, they just, they just allow you to be humiliated. Because being that they got that blue on, it's you against them. 
it's you against them, and that's just how they let it rock, you know. Um, I feel sorry for those brothers, but at least I could say that I never made any of my own people do that, you know. Also, I was never forced to do that because, first of all, I'm not the toughest nigga in the world, but I'm also retarded and I still got principles. You're not about to have me shake my butt and get slapped across the face and punched in the ribs just for your entertainment, okay? I'd rather die. I'd rather die, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, not everybody is the same, you know? Some people just want to do their time and go home. Some of these men knew that they next court date they was going home. So they'd rather not deal with it, you know? But that's just the situation, man. And that is the Beyonce Oh Booty Dance, the most disrespectful, emasculating, humiliating, effeminate male thing that I was ever seeing men do to each other, man. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.